Starbucks at the Markland Mall is a sign of progress and a symbol of resilience for this city. More than 20 people were inside when the tornado knocked this building to the ground. We're sitting there and and everybody's phone starts going off and I, I remember this later and nobody really cared. We just kind of sat there. And Shelly Dyer remembers that day in August of 2016 well. She was meeting four co-workers over coffee when the Starbucks shift supervisor asked everyone to move into the restroom. We went in there. He talked to us about, you know, just make sure you get down, cover your head, all this. Well, then he says, OK, I have to shut the door. Because he's, he's, well, after, later on he told us, we, I could see the tornado. Dyer says she heard clinking noises. I remember the, the light being ripped out of the ceiling so we could see daylight through that little hole. But she says she didn't realize the severity of the EF3 tornado as it packed winds of up to 150 miles per hour outside. A man in the building next door captured this video. It took my breath away the first time I saw it. I, I, I just thought, oh, you know, how did we even survive that? It wasn't until the tornado passed that she fully recognized the scope of the damage. The whole roof had fallen. It, it looked like it just took the middle right out and just dropped it. And then the only thing standing were the two bathrooms where we all were. She says it all happened in seconds, long enough for the powerful storm to tear a path through nearby neighborhoods and destroy this building. It was a miracle. <laughs> I mean, it really was. It was a miracle. We were being we were being uh, protected that day. Dyer credits the store supervisor for his quick action, a move that likely saved her life. Katie Hines, RTV6.